from CMG. My question goes to Member Song Hailiang. With a lot of infrastructure support, China has become the largest energy producer. So my question is as to the green transformation, what are the experiences of China that can be shared with the whole world? Thank you for the questions. And also thank you for your attention paid to green development and green and low carbon transformation campaign. Right now targeting at uh, uh, sharing and integration of energy and industries, we are aiming at such a great transformation. Integrated energy development is also another attempt and also the main pathway for green transformation. Last year, the installed capacity of renewable energy in China exceeded that of coal, and uh, the proportion was raised to 70 percent. The power generation was almost 2.7 trillion, and that was almost the combination of uh, the power consumption in 27 countries in EU. You could witness the speed of renewable energy development, and we're also facilitating the integrated development of energy with the other industries. First of all, compared to the conventional energies, the renewable energies are also useful. They could complement each other. And second of all, we are working on Energy Plus, plus industries, and the construction and the transportation. The third one is about the integration among different industries, for example, between the upstream and downstream, so that uh, in multiple fields and at multiple stages there could be synergy effects. Another example is about integrated development between elements, for example, between industries and technologies and so on. And also, there has been some integration across regions or even across borders. In that way, we attempt to create a new landscape for green carbon development. To give you two examples, the first one is about integrated development. In Inner Mongolia, China Energy Engineering Corporation established the first integrated demonstration program, as is known to all. This is um, the key area for keeping husbandry industry, so it is very demanding in terms of ecology. That's why we introduced the PV panels to increase the water content in the soil, and that paves the way for the growth of vegetation. Husbandry work could be continued within these pasture areas, and that is quite an innovative way. For one thing, we improved ecology locally, and secondly, we increased the local herdsman's income. According to the local villagers, there could be some animal keeping on top of the grasses, and in the meantime, there has been some intelligent brains to guide their daily work. And in such uh, integration, nature has been improved. Uh, the second example is about zero carbon navigation channel, the green EV boats and the green transportation, green airports and so on. All of those are new examples serving as the new products and new business forms for green development. The Pinglu Canal in Guangxi province is a good example. It adopts the newest uh, construction concepts to generate zero carbon emissions. They used all green energy and renewable energy indeed. They used even the green boats. And for the water navigation, they also adopted the green energy for their navigation. They truly realized green transformation and low carbon development. So integrated development of energy is not just about adding more. Instead, it's about generating even much higher benefits than just the two of them. We must the scale up such a structure of energy integration so that green power could go to all households and become the new norm. Low carbon development must become the mainstream of our development and thus support people's daily lives. So 
Our general public could enjoy the beauty of the nature and living in harmony with nature.